<clears throat> Thomas, hey, I just sat through 18 minutes of you berating me. A lot of swearing. It was a weird experience, but I listened to you. Um, you seem more angry than most people. I think possibly the reason that you're sending this anger at me and using it as a malicious behavior towards me is because I haven't responded to you. Because you've sent me several video responses or statements and I haven't responded to you and you've made several text comments and I guess it hasn't been a satisfactory response and you've just gotten pissed off. Frustration because you're expecting something. What are you expecting? What do you want? What do you think I'm capable of, dude? I don't think text is as useful a tool for communication as verbal communication. I don't think text is irrelevant. I think it's 1% of what you can accomplish in a, in a conversation because you can't express emotion and that's what human, connects human beings. We're talking about ideas. We're going to argue until the end of time through text because the ideas don't match up. I'm not talking about ideas. I'm not talking about things. I'm talking about how we communicate. It doesn't matter what you fucking say. It doesn't matter if you're wrong. It doesn't matter if you get facts wrong. It doesn't matter if you can't do math. If you don't understand how to communicate with someone without anger, then you're lost. And the more time I spend in text, the more frustrated I get. As for the weed, I don't know if you've ever smoked weed before, but it's nothing like alcohol and it's nothing like television. Alcohol and television subdue your consciousness. They pull you away, you'll spend eight hours doing it and forget that that eight hours happened. Marijuana, on the other hand, is a psychedelic, like, I guess, mushrooms. Never done mushrooms. But apparently, I mean, well, with any psychedelic, you see the world from a different perspective. It's very different than a dulling sensation. It's not a dulling sensation by any means. Some people like to smoke weed and watch TV, and that's a fucking wreck, uh, a waste of time, a wreck. Or play video games or listen to music. I don't understand why someone would want to do that. It's communication. <clears throat> I find that if the television's on or if people are drinking beer, you can't communicate. Not like you could normally. Not like you could when you're looking at each other and listening to each other. Sober. Or high. With weed. I don't know, man. The Native Americans called it the peace pipe. They built cultures based around it. It's not bad. It's just easy to get addicted to it because the, per the altered perception is incredibly interesting. And in some ways, more interesting because, like, your sensory perception is your sensory perceptions get heightened. Uh, what's going on with you, dude? Why are you so frustrated? And if you really aren't interested, if it really bothers you, you wouldn't be watching this. So I believe that you're just frustrated that I'm not responding to you. Otherwise, you just wouldn't be watching it. Don't want. I'm not making you watch this, man. I'm asking you to listen to it. Why are you fighting that? I really want to get angry. I really want to. Because your video is so angry and it's <clears throat> inspiring me to feel it. But I understand that all the stuff you say, all the feelings you have are all in your own mind. Yeah, how'd you feel when I said that? You probably got pissed off at me, didn't you? But it's true, it's all in your own mind. And everything that I'm feeling is in my own mind. And as for communism, dude, what is communism? Is a group of people led by a few people at the top? That's what this is gonna fucking, that's what it's becoming. We're, we're just like a herd of sheep on this thing. I don't like that.
I don't like to think of this as a community where we can all be together and do our things, but if it gets out of hand, we'll get, we'll get beat down from the top. We'll be executed by having our accounts banned. I don't like that. I don't think communism is a good form of government. On paper, it looks great. On paper, everybody works kind of hard. Everybody gets everything they need, and the government makes all the right decisions. But putting a bunch of power in the hands of a few people is a fucking mistake. And you know that, too. Why would you defend that? And that's what communism does, is it puts power in a few people's hands. It strips power from the people. It strips the property from the people. The state owns all the property. How is that in re remotely beneficial to, to us as human beings? What do you want to do? You just want to do someone else's work your whole life? All right, man.